Like, take us through a, a day, a day in the life of Amber and her family, you know, like, tell us what you're eating. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, we're a homeschooling family now, so it's a lot easier having my kids at home um, to really focus on their health. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, Good job, job, bud! Yay! <laughs> but I've done it even sending my child to public school. She has never had anything other than a plant-based lunch. I have always packed her plant-based lunches since kindergarten. She's now in fifth grade. Um, so she starts her day with celery juice and then she has the liver rescue smoothie. That's kind of her thing. She drank the heavy metal detox smoothie for two years in kindergarten and first grade and she's kind of like tapped out on it. So I'm giving her a long break. Um, but that's her favorite, and so that's what she's doing is the liver rescue. And then she'll do like um, a plant-based lunch of like carrots and apple. She does still do peanut butter, even after doing sunflower butter for a while. She's back on the peanut butter, and she'll do like gluten-free vegan bread, yeast-free, free of all the things. We do Sammy's Bakery bread for the kids. And uh, dinner is always plant-based. That's all I make. I don't cook meat at all. So... What did we have last night? Oh, last night she had softball and she wanted to have a smoothie bowl for dinner. And I was like, yeah, right on. That'd be cool. So she had a smoothie bowl for dinner. Yay. So my kids eat a lot of raw. Yeah, they eat a lot of raw foods for sure. Um, baked sweet potatoes and things like that. Tonight we're doing tacos and dad's buying grass-fed beef and she'll probably have some of that. So she has meat about two times a month. And she, what's really interesting is okay. I don't force. Um, I learned the hard way that that doesn't work, especially with my oldest. So what, what I found to be really helpful is to let her make choices and, and for her to see how those foods make her feel. And she has come up to me and said, mom, I really don't like, I don't really like hamburgers. And I'm like, yeah, so how does that make your body feel? You know, I want her to make that decision. And my son, on the other hand, is the complete opposite. He doesn't know anything other than plant-based. And um, just recently he was like, yeah, cows are our friends. We don't eat them. And so it's so cute. Um, he's, uh, you know, he, he, he would not eat meat. If there's meat on the table, he's not interested. He might ask questions and he's very aware. Is that vegan? But he will not he will not eat it and he will not touch it <laughs> so it's really it's really cute to see um yeah so uh basically just making sure they eat enough and that's a big learning thing for me was i never had a plant-based child before now that he's four um and you guys have a little one now so um it was a big learning curve for me he needs to eat a lot more than i thought he would need so like by the time he was two or three, he's okay. having two smoothies a day, you know, I'm constantly feeding him. And so just like we have to eat a lot, eating plant-based and mostly fruits and vegetables, we need to do the same for our children. So what about mama? What does mama eat? Oh, me? Take us through what you eat in a day. <laughs> well, I know, yeah. I, know you've seen, <laughs> I know you've seen me with this. So lemon, ginger, raw honey water. I sip on this throughout the day, but I start my day with lemon water, yeah. 32 ounces. Uh, 32 ounces of celery juice every day, but I healed all of my symptoms on just 16 ounces of celery juice. Uh, when I bumped it up to 24 awesome. to 32, that's when I finally was able to get rid of the bloating. So everybody's different, but I think that's important to note. Not everybody has yeah. to have 32 ounces, um, but it's nice when you can get to a point where you can do that for deeper healing. Um, so heavy metal uh, melons actually every day. I love my melons. I have them every single day. Lately, I've just been eating cantaloupe as is while I'm homeschooling because it's just nice to have a snack while I'm doing that. Heavy metal detox smoothie every single day. Um, and either spinach soup or most of the time a nether smoothie. So today's lunch smoothie has cherries, mango, banana, sprouts, spinach, aloe. That'll be my lunch. Um, some kind of adrenal snack, like dates, an apple. <laughs> um, and then tonight's taco night. 
I think I think what's important here is to remember that um, if you show compassion to yourself and to others, like your children, your spouse, your friends and family, and just don't judge them for their food choices, but just show them compassion, um, that's that's where the healing begins. That's where they start to like, oh, okay, like I feel safe around her because food is a big deal. Um, we use food mm -hmm. to celebrate and to hang out, right? And so. Um, I think there's a way to do it. Like today I gave my husband a smoothie two, he's already had two smoothies today. Uh, the other day I made him a big green juice. And so I, I try my best to just sneak in lots of healing foods for everybody. Um, and for me, I eat every two hours, at least I try <laughs> for the adrenal support. So, yeah. So, yeah. And you have... Love some amazing recipe books out too. Oh. So it seems like you've done a lot of like experimenting <laughs> with oh gosh, making yeah. yummy <laughs> meals for your family. And I, I'm always so amazed on your stories how you're showing. Okay, I have you know this is coming out of the freezer. I'm gonna feed this to the kids <laughs> today. So I feel like you've also kind of mastered like batch cooking and yes, like, I getting things kind of planned for the weeks and weeks absolutely yeah like yeah and so if if people are watching this and they want to know where they can see all these amazing recipes that you're feeding yourself and your kids thank you where can they go and find you <laughs> you can either search amber whiting uh pay hip um, and you'll see all of my ebooks, or you can just very easily go to the link on my Instagram at Amber Holistic Nurse Coach. Um, so it's Amber underscore Nurse Coach. Um, Amber underscore Holistic Nurse Coach is actually what it is. And there's a link right there. I have four ebooks. These are recipes that I personally have fed my family over the years. And when I started getting these recipes together for my family, and actually for my clients because they were asking for recipes and like, oh gosh, I need to give recipes. And so then the idea was like, well, why don't you just do eBooks, right? So I started doing those and guys, I gotta say, I'm done with the eBooks. So there's four, <laughs> there's sure. four um, with lots of, lots of fun recipes, but yeah. it's a lot of work for a mama of two. And now that we're homeschooling, there's just no way. Yeah. But and I love how in, in the, Oh, I was just gonna say in the um, the kids one, I love you show like so many good examples of kids meals. So I feel like that is like, I mean, you put so much work into those eBooks. It's and there's it's a lot amazing. of recipes in there too. Yeah, we'll link everything in the description below, and all of the the videos we'll do with you. We'll link it all so then people can click those links and check out awesome. your books and check yeah. out your Instagram and, you know, start giving you a follow. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I remember when I started sharing my healing journey. Um, so I wasn't on social media when I first started. Yeah. Because I had a fear that I wasn't going to be able to hold my phone right with my hands hurting, my joints hurting. I was like, there's no way I'm going to be able to do all that. And something told me just share. So when I was 11 weeks old, 11 weeks uh, along with Owen is when I hopped on um, Instagram and started sharing a lot. I know. And um, it's such a beautiful space. I'm really so happy. I would have never met people like you guys. And just it's, it's such a supportive, beautiful community. Yeah. I mean, I've, it's just amazing experiences. So. I'd love to see you guys there. I do show up a lot in my stories and I share what we're doing on the day to day. And um, yeah, it's just it's just incredible to see how it's all unfolded. And I'm really glad that I listened to that call to like get on and share. <laughs> so it's an important thing. I, you know, uh, getting these stories out there gives medical medium Anthony William his information more credibility. Yeah. Right? You could sit there and you can beat him up over where he's getting the information. But at the end of the day, he's putting information out there. He's not charging us for it. And it's helping so many people. So it's important to get stories like your story and many right. other people's stories out there to the masses. So people can see that, hey, this stuff works. 
we're healing. People are healing from this information. So there's no questioning what he's uh, yeah what he's telling us works. <laughs> Be sure to watch the next video we did with Amber as she explains the supplements she took to heal. And check out all the other great videos we've done with Amber. And thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.